Hey guys, E Powered RC here today with a new brown box. Hmm, what could be in this box? Well, if you've already read the title, you already know. Maybe. If I, if I put it in the title, I could give uh, a guessing title. Be like, uh, hmm, what's in the box? <coughs> what does he have now? not very big, whatever it is, huh? Ooh, look at here. Oh, we got a box inside of a box. Oh, yeah. And they always seem to package this stuff so nice. I'll give you a, a hint, or maybe you can get a hint from this right here. It's a power package. Hopefully you can see that. But it says, crap crack series so okay it's a plane from twisted hobbies so yeah but, got some foam tack i've never tried the foam tack in the little um little tube like this. i've always had the the one inside of the the bigger bottle so which I could not find for nothing on the website. It was late, maybe I overlooked it, but everybody says this um, this type here works really well. Um, I didn't realize the bottles were quite this size. So yeah, that ought to definitely work good. But so to put all the accessories in that box and then goodness, they, uh, they didn't want the plane to go anywhere. They taped they taped the box to the box. So I guess that's good. So we get rid of one big box. And we got another little box. So there she is. Having to check make sure you can guys can see it. <clears throat> the little crack crack. I can't speak today, guys. Sorry. Quack Yak. Well, 32 inch. That's what she is. It took me some time to uh, make up my decision. I have one of the 32 inch Quack Yak for quite some time. I had one years ago. Honestly, I'm not quite sure what happened to it. Um, I know it had a ton of flights on it. Whenever I decided to get rid of it, um, I think I just, I think I did just decide to get rid of it for some reason, but I always kind of regretted it. So here we go. We're looking at the, the all rounds here. Um, nice big deflection. Oh, you can't see that thing. Deflection this way. But anyway, so we got one all round, one wing. One, uh, another one. Oh, this one looks like they've already pre-slotted the, can you see that? See the daylight through it? They've pre-slotted for when the wing spar goes. That's very nice because on the 42 inch, they don't do that. So there's the elevator. They always tell you to fold them in half and set something heavy on them. So once I unbox everything and check it out, I will. It's definitely a lot smaller than the 42 inch, but uh, that's what I wanted. I want something good for my yard to fly in. I think this one will be perfect for my yard. There's the rudder. And uh, you know, again, you want to twist everything like that. That way you get good uh, movement of everything. There's the bottom. Yeah, that's got to be the well, the bottom and the middle. Ooh, this is definitely more flexible, um, not assembled than the 42. Um, I didn't actually build my uh, 32. I bought it used off of a guy. Got a really good deal on it. So this will be the first uh, 32 inch I've ever built. A little canopy there. And then you got, I'm not quite sure what these are. 
I'm going to have to watch the build video again. I should have downloaded the manual already and been looking at it, but here's the hardware. Um, looks like the control horns, the wheels. Um, I don't plan on putting the landing gear on this one. I just, I don't know. I might change my mind. Push rods, motor mount, uh, control horns. There's the wheel pants if you do. If you do put wheels on, there's a wheel pad. Landing gear. Was at the door. Okay. So anyway, we got all the pieces out here. I now have uh, these pieces over here laid out. Double beveled over. Got batteries sitting on them to uh, hold them, hold them back the opposite way. Let that sit there for a while. Uh, we got the little landing gear. We have the carbon fiber rods that go in the wing. This isn't carbon fiber. This is wood, but I think it's the one that goes into the wing. And then we got two carbon fiber rods here um, that go for the... I'm going to guess they go in the few sides. And again, I got to download the manual and look at it. There's a build video. It looked decent on there already. But uh, here we got the electronic package that they recommended. Uh, Twisted Hobby planes are great planes, but I do definitely suggest to go with the package they recommend. Uh, this is a stock prop. They recommend a 947 if you're going to fly it on a 3 or 2S. I also got some 84 props. Because I actually, I do plan on flying it on a 3S. Because I actually have more 3S's than I have 2S. But there's a little uh, speed controller for it. A uh, little, I think it's 15 amp. Yep, 15 amp. So we got the connectors on it for it. There's the servos. There's the model numbers if you're interested. Uh, CSP-D. There's in Dave. 10M as in male, and then we gotta have a motor also in the package here. Uh, there's the third servo, yeah, you got three servo because this plane has one servo for the Elron one for elevator, one for rudder. Wow, they don't want you to see the motor, but there's the model number of my camera I'll focus on there. So, uh, yeah. Got in a black bag, and apparently they don't want me getting into it. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I let all that sit over there, double bell rope over for a little bit, and then we'll get to uh, building. So it does come with O-rings, and I believe it's a prop saver style uh, motor, I believe. Even though I don't see a cut server. Oh, it's already on the motor. Okay. So there's a little tiny motor. Not very big for a 32 inch plane. Uh, but as you can see, the bullets are already on there. So, yeah. So the bitty bitty tiny wire. And, oh, okay. So, obviously, on this one, the prop saver is already made onto it i don't know if you can see that it's very very black on black it's hard to see but yep so uh there's the unboxing video guys uh be stay tuned to look for uh a different part of the video i'm not quite sure if i'll actually do a true on build video uh but i will have some updated videos or at least pictures of the progress of it and then be sure to check out the first uh, flight video of it. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.